Welcome to Who Died Today, America your daily source for remembering and honoring the lives of those who have passed. In this channel, we pay tribute to the talented and influential individuals who have left an impact on our world. From musicians and actors to politicians and photographers, each day we'll bring you news and stories about the people who have recently passed away and share their contributions to society. So join us in remembering the lives of those who are no longer with us and honoring their legacy. Here's to who died today, America. Burt Bacharach was a legendary songwriter who wrote some of the biggest hits of the 20th century. Like what the world needs now is love and I say a little prayer. He was a Grammy and Academy Award winning composer who worked with lyricist Hal David to create hundreds of pop songs. His music was known for its unique chord progressions and choice of instruments, and was recorded by more than 1,000 different artists. Some of Burt's biggest hits were written for Dionne Warwick, but he also worked with other artists like Gene Pitney, Dusty Springfield, Tom Jones, and The Carpenters. Burt arranged, conducted, and produced much of his own music, and some of his songs topped the Billboard Hot 100, like This Guy's In Love With You, Raindrops Keep Fallin' On My Head, and That's What Friends Are For. He was a big figure in easy listening music, and his songs continue to be used in films and musical tributes today. In fact, he and Hal David were named one of the 100 greatest songwriters of all time by Rolling Stone in 2015 and received the Library of Congress Gershwin Prize for Popular Song in 2012. Sadly, Burt passed away on February 8, 2023, at the age of 94. He will always be remembered as one of the most important composers of popular music. Tributes to Burt Bacharach Melinda Dillon was a well-known American actress who was known for her captivating stage and screen performances. She was in the business for a long time, and her acting skills and natural talent left a lasting impression on audiences. Early in her career, her talent was noticed for her Broadway debut in Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf. She was nominated for a Tony Award, and Close Encounters of the Third Kind and Absence of Malice were both nominated for Academy Awards. People also liked her as Mother Parker in A Christmas Story and in other popular movies like Bound for Glory, Fist in 1978, Harry and the Hendersons, The Prince of Tides, and Magnolia, for which she was nominated for a Screen Actors Guild Award. Melinda Dillon passed away on January 9, 2023, when she was 83 years old. Her body was burned up, even though she is no longer with us. Her influence on the entertainment industry and the memory she made through her work will continue to inspire new actors and actresses. Tributes to Melinda Dillon Eugene Lee, the talented set designer, left a lasting impact on the entertainment industry with his incredible work. He spent an impressive 50 years working with Saturday Night Live, creating sets for some of the show's most iconic sketches like Wayne's World, Church Lady, and More Cowbell. His exceptional work also earned him six Emmy Awards for his production design for The Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon and Late Night with Seth Meyers. Lee's work on Broadway was equally impressive, earning him three Tony Awards for his set design in Candid, Sweeney Todd, and Wicked. He also left his mark on productions like Merrily We Roll Along, Sia Sickle, and Glen Gary Glen Ross. In addition to his work on stage, Lee was a co-founder and resident set designer of the Trinity Repertory Company in Providence. Unfortunately, on February 6, 2023, Lee passed away in Providence, Rhode Island after a brief illness at the age of 83. He will be remembered as a true master in his field who left a lasting impact on the entertainment industry. Tributes to Eugene Lee. Phil Spaulding was a talented English-based session musician who was best known for his expertise with the Fender Precision Bass Guitar. Born on November 19, 1957 in London, Spaulding was a successful child model who appeared in a television advertisement for Smith's Crisps. 
He later joined the original Mirrors before embarking on a collaboration with the band Toya in December 1980. As a member of Toya, Spaulding recorded and co-wrote songs for studio albums and toured with the band until 1983. He went on to perform with some of the biggest names in music, including Mike Oldfield, Mick Jagger, Seal, Orchestral Maneuvers in the Dark, Elton John, and Randy Crawford. In February 2012, he joined the Simon Townsend Band for the Secret Weapon UK tour. Sadly, Phil Spaulding passed away in February 2023 at the age of 65. He will be remembered as a talented and versatile musician who left a lasting impact on the world of music. Tributes to Phil Spaulding. Harry Milner Whittington was a Texas lawyer and political figure who was known for his real estate investments and involvement in the Republican Party. He made headlines in 2006 when he was accidentally shot by Vice President Dick Cheney while hunting quail on a ranch in Texas. Harry was married to Mercedes Baker, and together they had four daughters. Sadly, he passed away on February 4, 2023 at the age of 95, due to complications from a fall he had earlier in the year. He will be greatly missed. Tributes to Harry Milner Whittington. Emery Christoph was recognized for his remarkable talent and contribution to the field of photography. Emery was an incredible photographer who was part of the team that discovered the Titanic. He was awarded several prestigious awards such as the NOGI Awards for Arts by the Underwater Society of America in 1988 and the Northeast Diver of the Year by Beneath the Sea in the same year. In 1998, Emery received the J. Winton Lemon Fellowship Award from the National Press Photographers Association and was also honored as a member of the Wired 25 class of 1998. Emery's legacy lives on through his incredible body of work inspiring photographers every way to capture the world in new and unique ways. Tributes to Emery Christoph. Lanny Poffo was a wrestler, an actor, a writer, and a motivational speaker who worked as a pro. He was best known as Leaping Lanny Poffo in the World Wrestling Federation and the genius in World Championship Wrestling. Poffo had a successful wrestling career that lasted more than 20 years. He was known for his high-flying moves and acrobatic skills during that time. He was the WWF Intercontinental Champion and a Tag Team Champion in both the WWF and WCW. Poffo loved poetry besides wrestling, and he was known for the funny and clever poems he would read in the ring before his matches. He was also a good actor who appeared in many TV shows and movies over the course of his career. Randy Macho Man Savage's younger brother was Lanny, and the two of them often fought together in the ring as the Poffo family. The brothers were known for having big personalities and fierce rivalries, which helped make the world of professional wrestling more exciting and lively. On February 2, 2023, it was announced that Lanny Poffo, who was 68 years old, had died. His death was caused by a heart attack, and wrestling fans all over the world were very sad about it. He will be remembered as a true legend in professional wrestling and as a performer who made a lot of people happy and excited. Tributes to Lanny Poffo. Thanks for watching this video. If you found it informative, entertaining or just plain awesome, don't forget to hit that like button and share it with your friends. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to our channel for more amazing content like this. Your support means the world to us, and we can't wait to continue this journey with you. Until next time, take care and stay awesome.